Hello, this is Leo Young back for another training episode. After several requests from our viewers, today we have the long awaited lesson on how to upgrade your Devo F12e. In our previous episode, we explained that there are two versions of the firmware released by Wakira mainly the professional version and the RTF condensed version for beginners. In this episode, I'll show you how to unlock the firmware by upgrading. This is a boring video, but for those who actually ask for it, so thumbs up if you use it. To make it a little interesting, I've included some bonus clips at the end. To upgrade your Devo F12e, you will need the transmitter upgrading cable. Most of the recently shipped out version of the Devo F12e is not programmable. Uh, that is packaged R RTF with the Voyager 3, the X350 Premium, the Scout X4. So if you have one of those that have uh, missing manuals, programming functions, don't panic, all you have to do is unlock it and you get the advanced manuals. To do that, you will need the transmitter cable. Plug in your USB cable onto your transmitter and then plug it into your computer. And the first thing you'll notice is your computer is going to detect a new device has been added. Let the computer recognize the device. Next, go to the iusinc.com website. This is the Wakira USA website and download the firmware. The uh, page might look different over time, um, but you should be able to find the F12E firmware as well as the software. So download both files, the uh, diffuse, USB upgrade tools, as well as the latest firmware. Unzip the file and take a look at the readme files. There should be some notes, uh, and for at the present moment, 1.5 is the professional version, and then 1.6 is the most recent um, RTF condensed version. And uh, the difference between A and B is the milliwatt. So depending on your local area, the governing rules of your town or city. Uh, you might have to choose between 10 milliwatts or 100 milliwatts. Unzip the files, uh, move your firmware file right onto a convenient spot on your computer where you can locate it. And then install the diffuse USB upgrade tool. But before you do that, take a look at the uh, history. Uh, there's a log file that gives you a history of all the different versions of the diffuse software. The latest one has included the Devo F12e. Double click on the software and install it. Once your installation is complete, you will need to double click on the diffuse icon if it hasn't started by itself. And then you will establish a USB connection between your transmitter and your computer by holding down to the EXT button and powering on at the same time. You should get a message that says program update on your LCD. At the same time, a message on the screen to say that the DVO F12E has been detected. Next, browse for the latest firmware that you will need and click on Upgrade. 
you may get a warning message that says you are in DFU mode, which is okay. Click yes and continue your upgrade. Once your upgrade is complete, you will see a message below that says upgrade successful. Now you're ready to quit and reboot your transmitter. To verify your upgrade, go to system menu, scroll all the way down to the about page and you should see the latest firmware version number listed there. Browse around and you're gonna see your existing models are still there and uh, you're all good to go. Have a good day. And now a short preview of some of our recent FPV projects for the Missing Children Network. Oh. Spin the uh, camera 360 degrees. Gears. One more round. One more round. Yeah, one more round, please. Oh, yeah. Now!
Woo, perfect landing. Yes, sir. That's our pilot. FPV all day long.